It is important to remember that all the work we have done on calculating our overhead absorption rates has been on the basis of budgeted information. So a company will do these calculations at the start of the year in order to estimate what their expected production cost per unit will be. Now we know in reality that it would be very rare for a company's actual results to be exactly equal to their budgeted or expected results. So for that reason, an important part of absorption costing is calculating the under or over absorption. All we are doing here really is looking at how much has our expected overhead cost differed to our actual overhead cost. Now to calculate our under or over absorption, the first thing we need to do at the end of the year is look at the overheads we have absorbed. And our overhead absorbed will be equal to our actual activity multiplied by our overhead absorption rate. So, at the start of the year, we worked out our predetermined overhead absorption rate. And then throughout the year, each time we produced a unit, we charged an amount of overhead to our production account based on that overhead absorption rate. So at the end of the year, our total overhead absorbed will be our activity level multiplied by that original charge per labour hour or per unit. Now we want to compare our overhead absorbed to our actual overhead cost. So at the end of the year, we will know how much have we actually spent on our production overheads. And it would be highly unlikely for our overhead absorbed to be exactly equal to our actual overheads. So when we know those two figures, we then just need to calculate the difference. And the difference between our overhead absorbed and our actual overhead cost is our under or over absorption. Now, I say under or over absorption, what we mean here is have we charged too much overhead to our production account or have we charged too little? The rules to remember are if our overhead absorbed is greater than our actual overhead cost, then we have over absorbed. So the overhead we have absorbed or charged to our production account is more than the actual overhead we have incurred. So we have charged too much to our production account, in which case we say we have overabsorbed. Of course, it could be the other way around. If our overhead absorbed is less than our actual overhead, then we say we have under absorbed. So in this case, we have absorbed or charged a certain amount of overhead to our production account, but our actual overheads have been much higher. So we have not charged enough to our production account, in which case we say we have under absorbed our production overheads. 
Now, it will be very common in the F2 exam for you to be asked to calculate the under or over absorption for a company. So let's have a look at an exercise then where we work this through. So in this exercise, we are told our cooler limited uses absorption costing. And we have the following information about one of its production departments. So we have our budgeted information and our actual information. And we are asked to complete the following statements. So we want to say whether overheads were under or over absorbed and by how much. So, first of all, we said when we're calculating our under or over absorption, the first thing we look at is our overhead absorbed. And remember, this is going to be our actual activity multiplied by our overhead absorption rate. So we need to calculate our overhead absorption rate. If we look back at the information at the beginning, remember our overhead absorption rate will always be calculated on the basis of our budgeted information. So at the start of the year we would have used this information to calculate our overhead absorption rate. So our overhead absorption rate would be our budgeted overheads divided by our budgeted activity. Very simply, our budgeted overheads are 200,000. Are we going to use machine hours or labor hours to calculate our overhead absorption rates? Well, we've seen this before. We know we're going to use machine hours to calculate our overhead absorption rate in this question because it is a machine intensive department. So our overhead absorption rate then is two pounds per machine hour. Wonderful! So now we can calculate the overhead we have absorbed during the year. So now we know our overhead absorption rate is two pounds, which means during the year, for each machine hour we used, we have charged two pounds in overheads to our production account. So we just look at our actual activity. So our actual machine hours were 80,000. So our overhead absorbed will be the 80,000 machine hours multiplied by 2, so we get 160,000. And we want to compare this to our actual overhead cost, which we are told in the question was 208,000. So, what's the difference then between the overhead we have absorbed or charged to our production account and our actual overhead cost? Well, clearly a simple calculation. The difference between 168,000 and 208,000 is 48,000. So have we under or over absorbed our production overheads? Well, we see that our overhead absorbed is less than our actual overhead cost. So we have not charged enough in overheads to our production account. In which case we say that we have under absorbed. So for this company then, they have underabsorbed their overheads by 48,000 pounds.